There's this big misconception with the far right or the nationalist view of immigration. And why does that misconception exist? Well, it's obvious, because liberals can't listen. Liberals don't like to listen. They like to create their assumptions and just go ahead. You know, he believes that because he's hateful. He believes that because he's a fascist. He believes that because he's a dictator. No, we don't. We just believe it because we think it makes sense. So they think, if I see an immigrant, I start having a meltdown. No, I don't. Here, well, here's the thing. Here's my view on immigration. And this is why I believe there should actually be like an 80-year pause on it. Because with immigration, I see it as this way. So imagine a packet of biscuits. There's, there's one big family, okay? The parents are like, to the kids, you can have one biscuit a day. Let's say on Monday, starting Monday, one kid goes and takes the entire packet of biscuits and eats them all. Does that mean that the next day he should then have another biscuit? Or could you go, no, no, you've had your biscuits for a week, hold on. You'd, you'd tell him, wait up, you've just had a week worth of biscuits in one day. So no more till next week. Perhaps you'd even be punished and go, you can't have any at all. But with immigration, it's a little bit different because you can't really blame on the immigrants, it's on the government, so we should punish the government instead. So perhaps, I don't have any problem with immigration. Let's say we should have 20,000 a year. 20,000 a year, 20,000 20, immigrants, we can handle that. That's fine for the NHS, that's fine for the housing, that's fine, that's fine for pretty much everything. We, can, we could handle that. And 20,000 uh, people out of perhaps millions who want to come, we can choose the most qualified, highly skilled 20,000. So I, I have no problem with that, that's all, that's all cool. But what's happened in the last few years, or the last five, ten years, millions have came in at ten times the rate they should be. So we've had about a hundred years worth of immigration in ten years. So should we not have a 90 year pause? And that doesn't mean there's gonna be no foreign born people because they can, have they can have kids and that's more immigrants that should become highly skilled workers, right? Because if all their parents are highly skilled workers, they should have money and they should have, and usually people with money do parent their kids better. Usually they're less, less likely to be involved in crime. So those kids will also maybe work for the NHS and these essential services and provide for a country. So that's fine, we can actually have a 100 year pause and probably end up just fine. We do not need a constant influx of, you know, we can't just have millions and they go, yeah, 20,000 a year is still fine. Because no, we'd probably still get that 20,000 from them, from them having children. And it would maintain just fine. Maybe in 100 years, we can maybe do another 10, 20,000 every year. And that'd be all fine. So it's the problem that you're just, you're not entitled to just flood the country with people constantly. Hundreds of thousands every single year. It doesn't work like that. Sorry, I have no issue with you as an individual. Because, you know, People think, oh, so you don't like this guy? You, you don't like this guy because he's an immigrant? Oh, he, he worked, he's in the reform party, but he's black, so you don't like him? No, I do. No, I do. I just don't like when, if an entire political party was full of them because they've replaced our ethnic people. I have no problem with one little guy there. You know, my, my honest goal, not goal, that sounds bad. To, to be quite honest, I see it as, with the problem we've got in our country, if you were to say in school, oh, you know that one Pakistani guy? Instead of the question being, which one? You know, because that's how it is. If you say, which one? There's about a hundred. Because they're probably one eighth of my school. It will be, oh yeah, 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 I know. Because for example, there's two Japanese guys in that school. If you say, do you know that Japanese guy? You go, okay, you say which one, because there's two of them. But you know, you know what I mean? You wouldn't go, oh yeah, you know the Japanese community within our school. Why is there a Japanese community within our, you know, school in Scotland? That doesn't make sense. My school's all about every school, every school in the country, up, down, you know, Scotland, England, Ireland, all this stuff. They're all going to promote diversity within our schools. To, we have this community, that community, that community, transgender visibility, she, they, he, LGBT, they celebrate it all. You, 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 it's worse than you think, probably. Or maybe it's better than you think, I don't know. But it's a problem that there's a whole community of them. For example, I have no problem with, with a few of them because on their own, I have no issue with them. If I go on holiday to Pakistan, I doubt I would, right? I, I have no appeal in going to the country. It's probably not as nice as, you know, uh, Spain, for example. I've never been to Spain, but it's, it's probably not as nice as Spain. The thing is, if I went there, I wouldn't disrespect their people because I expect to see them. I have nothing personal against those people. Maybe those, pers maybe those people even have different values or of a Muslim faith. I still have nothing against them because they're in their own countries. It's whatever, you know? Why would I expect to see white people in Pakistan? I wouldn't. If I went to Saudi Arabia and there was, you know, tons of white people, I'd be like, whoa, I came to Saudi Arabia, I wanted to see Saudis. So it's the same here. 
I'm in Scotland, I want to see Scottish people. I don't like when, I mean, Scotland's actually not so bad. I, I live in the city with the most, the highest immigration population. I'm, I'm guessing, but it's double the amount of Edinburgh with less people. So I, I assume it's, and all the other cities are pretty much, you know, Scotland's 96% white. Britain as a whole is 80%, perhaps less. It might be 76% or something. See, that's where the problem comes. Nobody has, nobody has a problem with, you know, there's, when, when they're a minority, because, well, if you're in a country that's not ethnically your homeland, then you should be a minority. If I go to, if I, if I wanted to go and venture and if I was 60 years old and wanted to go live my life in Greece, well, I expect to be a minority because I'm not Greek. So why, why would I be a majority in that country? Because this is my country. I should, be a, I should be a majority here. And if I go on holiday, I should be a minority. That's how it should be. I don't have no desire to become a majority in Turkey or Spain. I have absolutely no desire to become a majority there. If I go there, I actually want to be a minority because I've moved there because I probably like their people. I wouldn't want to be surrounded by a bunch of my people if I, you know, I'm going to a different country. I'd be quite disappointed if I went to Italy and everyone was English. That would probably annoy me. And it's it's also nothing to do with race or faith because, I mean, to be quite honest with you, sorry American viewers, but I've heard a couple of American people lately in the country. And I'm not liking it. You're all white, by the way, but I still don't like it. Because guess what? It's not about skin colour. It's not about religion. It's just about the fact that I want to hear Scottish people. There's too many English people near where I live as well. Because, you know, I live in I live near a place in Glasgow where it's a bit fancy, all the little English people doing their thing. Like, whatever, I don't, I don't have anything against you. If I go out before 12pm 12, 12 in a certain area, everyone sounds English. Past four, everyone's Muslim. It's, you know you know who San Francisco is? It's like a bunch of homeless people, a bunch of liberals, a bunch of criminals. It's kind of like that, but less extreme. So yeah, I don't, I don't like when you hear a bunch of English people either, because I'm in Scotland. Why, why would there be tons of English people? That's not as big a deal to me, because, well, they're still part of the United Kingdom, so it's different. But I still wouldn't want to be totally replaced by English people. If, if my Scottish people became, if Scottish people became a minority to English people in Scotland, we would see what the problem is. Everyone votes for SNP, for Sco votes for Scottish nationalism. How would you feel if Scotland started, Scottish people in Scotland became an ethnic minority and English people replaced us all? Would you be happy with that? I see it, you probably wouldn't. I see it the same way, but just with every single country on earth. Spain, France, if, if we were being replaced by any other country, trust me, I'd be speaking about, I'd be speaking out against it online as much as I do about any other one. If Spanish people were taking over the country, French people, German people, Americans, Mexicans, Pakistanis, Indians, South Africans, Moroccans, Algerians, Swedish people, uh, Swedes, any of them, I would have an issue with it. Now, of course, by some absolute coincidence, it had to be a bunch of Muslims and uh, Asians and Africans. So because they're a different skin color, now they can use this, oh, you're racist, uh, which is really annoying. Because guarantee, if it was a bunch of, you know, Western Europeans flooding the country and had an issue, uh, and had an issue about it, they wouldn't be able to use these terms. They'd have to go, well, fair enough, I get your argument. As in, when it's different skin color people, they can ignore your entire argument and go, oh, racist, you just don't like them because I'm brown. And it's like, I have brown friends. I have, I know, I have friends that are Muslims. One of my closest friends was doing the whole Ramadan thing. I, I, you know, I haven't, I, and I like that guy. He's a cool guy. You know, my only issue with him, no, we're not with him, sorry. My only issue with these people is when one-fifth of the country, one-fifth of Britain, is non-British. It's, it's when there's five million of them. I'm like, well, I have no issue. That's why I'm friends with them, because I, I don't have anything against these people. I like these people. But when there are millions of them and there's no longer any Scottish people, there's no, there's no longer any British people, well, then I start to, I start to like, well, this isn't my country anymore. I don't, I don't feel at home. I feel like a foreigner. So that's what the issue is. It's nothing about the immigration. There's nothing about, there's nothing wrong with immigration. There's a problem with mass immigration. There's nothing, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with immigrants. There's a problem with one fifth of the country being immigrants. There's a big difference. There's a big difference. There's nothing about innately the fact that someone is foreign born. There's nothing wrong with that. It's when there's too many of them. It's, it's very simple. It's common sense. If this is British, it should be a majority British. Sorry. But it's sort of just common sense. So stop calling me names. Stop calling us names. You're far right. You're a bigot. I don't hate anybody. The difference is that when I walk down the street and I see one black person, cool, one black person, shake your hand, how are you doing? We can be friends. But then if I walk down the street and everybody's, you know, not Scottish, I'm like, well, 
there's, there's a big difference there. See, it's not about that one person individually. It's about a whole group of them. It's the fact there's a whole community. In fact, they make up such a large percentage of the country. That's when the problem begins. It's nothing about them. It's about the number. Do you understand?